this is an interesting car. This is a Cavalli Mangusta, originally named uh, another development of the Di Tommaso Mangusta. And under, under the hood here is the 4.6 liter Ford V8, 281 cubic inches, 320 horsepower, double overhead cam. Aluminum block with uh, cast iron liners and aluminum heads. It's an unusual combination of a Ford V8 with an Italian car. And by the way, after this car went into obsolescence, uh, it uh, the chassis became the framework for the modern MG. Interesting. I have a link to the Wikipedia article on this car. Very interesting how it developed. The top of the car is interesting too. It's a rototop and the end section there above the driver that comes out like a target top. But the back section rotates into uh, underneath a cover so that it becomes a full convertible. The inspiration was the TVR. Inside is very elegant. Notice the very nice gauge cluster and almost all the surfaces in the, uh, in the inside here are covered in uh, real leather. Five-speed manual. Some of these also had an automatic instead of the manual. I guess you could claim it's a two plus two. You can see that there's kind of a shelf back there with uh, some accommodation, but not much. It was produced through 2001. And as uh, I've said, the chassis became the basis for the new MG. Here are some of the technical details of the car. It has air conditioning too, which makes it very livable in Florida. As you see, it's number 114. Very limited production. 264 cars altogether. Something you certainly don't see every day.